All right, here's try it 3.6. These are, I don't know, kind of fun, I guess. You have a function. And my function in this function notation is telling me that when I put x into the machine, what comes out is 2x squared minus 3x. And we put all sorts of crazy stuff into functions. We've put numbers into functions, but we've also put expressions into functions. Um, we've even put functions into functions when we did function composition. Well, not nearly as abstract as some of the stuff we've done is we could put a complex number into a function, no problem. All right, this is a number, 8 minus i, so we could put it into this function. We could say, well, I have this blueprint for what comes out of the machine when I put x into it. So if I want to figure out what is f of 8 minus i, all I would have to do is copy this blueprint right here, except everywhere I see the letter x, exchange it for 8 minus i. So f of 8 minus i is equal to 2 times 8 minus i squared minus 3 times 8 minus i. Are you done? Well, I don't know. This is true. This is what comes out. However, this can be simplified a whole lot. So I guess you are done in the sense that this is an answer, but you're not done in the sense that this isn't the best answer in that I can simplify this answer. So let's do that. To simplify this answer, um, be careful with your order of operations. 8 minus i squared. I want to square it first and then multiply by 2. How do you square 8 minus i? Oh, is that just 64? I don't know. Plus i squared maybe? No. Because 8 minus i squared means 8 minus i times 8 minus i. And when I'm multiplying together binomials, i got a FOIL. So I'll say 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times negative i is negative 8i. That's the O in FOIL. But the i in FOIL would also be negative 8i. So I'm going to get negative 16i. And negative i times negative i gives me positive i squared. And then over here, I guess, well, I'll do this in the next step. Let's leave this alone for now. And I say the next step, but how about the next next step? Because really what I want to do is simplify inside these parentheses to make the distribution that I'm going to do later easier to do. I squared is negative 1. So 64 and negative 1 is really just 63. And that gets me here. And in fact, I can simplify even further. Uh, the way I will simplify further is by distributing through. I'll take this 2 and distribute it through and get, what is that, 126 minus 32i. And then be careful, it's not distributing a, through, a 3 through. It's distributing a negative 3 through if you want to get rid of the parentheses. So I would get negative 24 plus 3i. And now if I combine like terms, I got 126 minus 24, which nets out to 102. And I got negative 32i plus 3i, which nets out to negative 29i. What I have is something in A plus B I form, so I'm as simple as I can be, and I'm done with 3.6.